Hello and thank you for watching this Dawson Tools instructional video for the DDM 190 and 190D our pen type digital multimeters. Let's take a look at some of the shared features on both meters. To begin testing in any mode, rotate the tip of the meter so the probe extends out. This is your positive test lead. Then connect the black test lead or test clip to the comm jack located on the side of the meter. To measure voltage, move the rotary switch to the voltage position shown here. To select either AC or DC voltage, press the function button to switch between the two. Extend the tip, connect the test lead, then connect the meter to the circuit. The measured voltage will now be shown on the display. The next function of the meter is resistance. To measure resistance, Move the rotary switch to the multifunction position shown here. The default mode is resistance. Extend the tip, connect the test lead, and then connect the leads to your circuit. The measured resistance will appear on the display. To switch to diode mode, move the rotary switch to the multifunction position and press the function button once. The meter is now in diode mode, as seen by the diode symbol in the upper left corner of the display. Connect the tip to the anode and the test lead to the cathode of the diode under test to measure the forward bias voltage drop. To enter continuity mode, move the rotary switch to the multifunction position and press the function button twice. The symbol for continuity appears on the top of the display showing that you are in continuity mode. Use the tip and test lead to measure the resistance of the circuit under test. If the resistance is less than 50 ohms, the meter's buzzer will sound. There are a couple other functions that are shared on both meters. The first is the range function. Both meters default range is auto range, meaning the meter will automatically select the appropriate range when the meter's test leads are connected to a circuit. To switch to manual range in any mode, press the range button. Each successive press of the button will increase the range displayed. Pressing the button once in the maximum range will cycle back to the lowest range. To return to auto range, hold down the range button. Next is the data hold function. In any mode, pressing the data hold button will hold the current reading on the display. This will remain on the display until the button is pressed again, returning to normal reading. Finally, the max hold button will hold the maximum value recorded by the meter after the button is pushed. This function is only available in voltage and current modes. Pressing the button a second time will return the display to normal readings. Now, let's look at the functions that are unique to each meter. The DDM190 features a non-contact voltage test, capable of detecting the presence of AC voltage in a conductor, socket, or other electronic circuitry. Move the rotary switch to the test position and move the tip of the meter towards the test object. If the meter detects voltage, the tip will flash and the buzzer will beep. To increase sensitivity of the test, rotate the knob in the center of the rotary switch counterclockwise. To decrease sensitivity, rotate the same knob clockwise. The DDM190D has two features that are unique to it. The first is current measurement. Rotate the rotary switch to the current position. To select either AC or DC current, press the function button to switch between the two. Extend the tip and connect the test lead to the meter and connect them in series to the circuit under test. The measured current will be shown on the display. The second unique function to the 190D is the 5 volt logic test. Move the rotary switch to the logic position shown here. 
connect the tip and the test lead to the circuit under test. When testing a circuit's logic level, hold down the function button while connecting the leads. If the measured voltage is less than 1.5 volts, the green LED in the tip of the meter will light up and the down arrow will show on the display, indicating a logic level of zero. If the measured voltage is between 1.5 and 3.5 volts, no indication will be given. If the measured voltage is greater than 3.5 volts, the red LED in the tip will light up and the up arrow will show on the display indicating a logic level of 1. Thank you for watching this video on the 190 and 190D digital pen meters. For more information on these and all our other products, visit our website at www.dawsontools.com.